Let me put some more pizza in my mouth before I talk into the microphone. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna uh, eat pizza, you talk. Huh? Ma'am, there's nothing like a slice of hot, fresh pizza. Melty cheese, a tangy tomato sauce, a chewy yet crispy crust, it's scientifically the perfect food. But what goes into making a great pizza pie? Turns out, there's a lot of science behind it, which is why I'm here at Fireside Pizza in Walnut Hills to learn from pizza master Sam DeBrosi, and now he and his crew make these award-winning pies. Hey, Sam. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm good, man, how are you doing? Welcome. Thanks. So, what goes into making the perfect pizza? There are a lot of things. Um, I think starting with fresh ingredients is probably the most important. Being careful as you deal with those ingredients, being respectful of the ingredients and their origins, how they go together with other really good ingredients, and then uh, cooking them in a really big pizza oven. That's, that's really, I think, the final step. This is huge. Yes. So <laughs> how does this work? This is a wood-fired pizza, right? Yes. Um, the difference between this and a lot of other pizza ovens is this does not use gas and it does not use electricity, it only burns wood. Only wood in there. Only wood. So we have to directly be in charge of how hot it is by stoking the fire, dampening the fire, letting the fire burn overnight, sometimes letting it smolder overnight. There's a lot of different ways you have to, you have to manage the heat of it. There's no knobs or anything to set. There's no controls. No, this is the control right here. So <laughs> how does the fire transfer heat to the, the, the pizza? How, do, how does it cook the pizza? There are three different ways that it does it. So when the fire is going, the actual combustion creates radiant energy. That's from the, uh, that's uh, easiest to see it in the light of the fire. So when the fire is really bright, we know we're getting a lot of radiant energy. Okay. That radiant energy is just a direct heat that hits the outside of the pizza dough. So when you see the little crispy kind of edges on the outside of the pizza dough, that comes from the radiant heat. Okay. The second type of heat is conduction. That's direct energy from the floor of the oven to the bottom of the pizza. So when you put your pizza in, it hits the floor, that floor immediately begins setting the bottom of the pizza. That's conduction. And the final one is convection. That's when air goes in the oven, okay. feeds the fire, and then it, run, it runs around the oven a couple times and then it goes right up the flue. That is what melts the pizza on top, gives it its beautiful color all the way around, and gets some char marks right on the top of the pizza. Wow, so let's see, radiation is, the, is from the fire radiating to the pizza, kind of making it crispy on the outside. Correct. And then the heat from the floor of the oven kind of bakes the bottom because it's direct on the, on the floor. And then the air circulating through the oven because it's kind of like a dome, right? So there's, there's probably room for the air to, to move around in there. That's why it is a dome shape. That's why yep. it's a dome shape. Okay, so it, it moves around there kind of baking the top and making the, the cheese all gooey and, and delicious. Correct. That's right, you got it right on. I mean, that's a really cool way to learn about thermodynamics too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, eating pizza is uh, always a great way to learn about anything. Well, I'm hungry. Do you mind if I help out making some pizzas today? Let's go. Let's do it. Get it all over. want it so you can still see the sauce below the cheese. Okay. Because that cheese is all going to melt and form together to be one mat. Um, so you want them nice and close to each other, but not quite oh, okay. overlapping. All right, ready to rock. Get it down there on the hot stone. Yeah. And now it's, now it's time to wait. So you got to balance a couple different things. There's the convection oven, the air that's circulating. The radiant heat in here is at a fine level. You've got a lot of glowing embers and a little small lick of flame. The thing that we're going to be really concerned about early is the conduction from the bottom of the oven okay. because it's been sitting overnight. The oven has been sitting on overnight, so it's had a ton of time to get really, really hot with nothing cooking in there all night. Um, so the bottom of this is going to set really, really quickly, and we're going to we're going to have to manage it. Those little bubbles there, those little guys, that's radiant. Those little guys that are on the outside, that's from the direct energy from the combustion. Um, these uh, bubbles that are on top that got roasted, that's convection. It's the air coming over the top and swiping over. You can see that the ones that are the black are the ones that are higher because they got hit by that convection. They weren't, 
Um, they weren't thermodynamically insulated by the stuff around them. They were out there. That's why that hot air was able to get them. And these bubbles that come up, you know, those are the ones that make the darkest spots. And then finally, the conduction you feel when you feel the fact that it's a set piece of dough. The bottom is set solidly. Um, that's, I mean, that's, doesn't get better than that. All right. You ready to dig in? Absolutely. Which one would you like to try first? I think I'm going to try this white pipe first. Go for it, baby. Okay, so a uh, little fold. Okay. Just like that. Cheers. And then right in. Oh man, that's a good pie. Um, let it work around your, um, first you'll get the salt, then you'll get the garlic, then you'll get the rosemary. Finishes with a little more oil. It's gorgeous. So science is repeatable. What are some things that you've learned after making thousands of, pi of pizzas? We're looking for a solution, not an answer. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're trying different things with a solution in mind, whereas scientists are trying a lot of different stuff to gather data. They don't have a solution already in mind because that could bias their experiments. That's a good point. We're very biased because we're solution-based. Right. So we don't have to do random experiments. We kind of know which direction we want to move in. But there is a methodology. You know, we know we need more water in here. Let's try X more water. That doesn't work. Let's try X plus X. And you're keeping the other right. things the same as you're changing one. Exactly. Variable. So the methodology, the, the routine, the attention to detail, those things are pretty much the same. Well, Sam, thank you so much for, for inviting me down here and sure, letting me try pizza. It was really fun. There's science in everything that we do, and learning the science behind pizza was really fun and super delicious. Nice, man. Awesome. I'm glad you guys came out.